it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. Y'all, I am very, very thrilled to be touring the island of Le Peche. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is French, which I am uh, not well versed in French really at all, but I believe it stands for the peach, uh, translated in English. This is by uh, Mare Izzel, uh, also known just as Mare on her Instagram and Twitter, of course, which I will link in the description for you guys. I'm so excited because I got a very sneak peek of this island just walking from resident services to the airport. And let's just say we are in a treat for this tour today. So if you guys are new, first and foremost, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and then comment down below on an island tour that you would like for me to see next. With that said, let's take a look at Mare's map. Wow. Okay, first off, the waterscaping on the right hand side of the map and in the back like wow okay um also so much symmetry which i appreciate it looks like she has a couple of neighborhood areas uh, we have two homes i do know that only one is fully furnished so we'll just be checking that one out and we have our two residents here we have mayor and then mandy also so cute with the matching buns let me just say and then for villagers we have samson doby maple fauna Marshall, Judy, Coco, Raymond, Tia, and Diana. And here's the dream address right on the screen, which she is releasing. So let's go ahead and get started with this tour. Uh, this flag also is just absolutely precious. The dove with the olive branch. Really, really, really love that flag. And right out of the airport, not only do we have this beautifully symmetrical entrance, but we got a staircase, so we're gonna see some fun terraforming. Oh my gosh, and a villager home. How did I even not recognize this walking to the airport earlier? Oh, how pretty. Oh, and the little treats right here. Okay, that is absolutely precious. And you can kind of get a sneak peek of resident services down there on the right, but of course we will go this way and follow as the map intended us to do so. Yeah, this terraforming I'm sure took a while. <laughs> so I guess let's go ahead and, you know, let's take this staircase because I am tempted to explore these beautiful waterfalls down here. <gasps> and sweet Diana. Hello, cutie. You fit this island perfectly, I feel like. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. I love these little waterfalls with the bushes and then you have the cypress plants. Cypress, is that right? I forget item names like crazy, you guys, but look at how so symmetrical it is. Something about this is very, very satisfying. <laughs> Ooh, how pretty. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh, and what a great use of the festival items, too. Those look really nice. The green one here just brings in the slightest bit of color. <gasps> This is such a lovely little park. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and look over there, the little waterscaping with the ducks and the mum cushions. This is stunning. Also, oh, oh, hello, little beach. Hello. What a nice surprise. How cute. Oh, I see a pipe back there too. Okay, we're gonna explore that. But before we do, I want to point out this pattern right here because obviously okay this is the in-game pathing right but it has been layered with a custom code with these beautiful white roses and the little green leaves and the border on it so you have the in-game pathing paired with this beautiful custom design but then you have this illusion of stairs right here which is again a custom code i'm guessing layered on top of the in-game pathing as opposed to being separate i'm not totally sure but how cool is that it looks like a staircase leading to the beach that's really lovely i love that and this blanket code i'm sorry but this is precious <gasps> oh how fun okay so we are going to take this warp pipe because i was told it leads somewhere fun but i'm not exactly sure where so let's go <laughs> i love this item this is the first time i've used one in a tour by the way <gasps> oh how 
ton. It just took me to this adorable secret beach. Oh my gosh. This is such a fun use of the teleportation pipes, or I guess warp pipes is what they're called. And look at this little reading nook, or a little place where you can come and write, get some journaling done. What a creative and smart use of the pipes, because I believe that this beach doesn't really lead, I guess it can lead this way, can it? That's so creative and smart. And then we get to explore this whole right beach. Okay, this code, the little circle of flowers is really lovely. And I'm sure you guys have noticed there's definitely a floral white theme happening on this island, which I love color coordination on islands. How sweet is this? I never thought that the hedge fencing would look nice on a beach, but I have been proven wrong right this minute. That looks really lovely. So I'm curious, for those that have been using the teleportation pipes and the warp pipes in the game, how have you used them? How have you been you know, using your creativity or um, maybe you've just been using them for practicality purposes just to get from point A to port point B a little bit more effortlessly? <gasps> okay, what a nice use of this large rock too. This is really stunning. Just having an area dedicated for playing music, maybe just an outdoor concert. And again, the use of all the white items with the white flowers is so, so pretty. Oh, I love it. And truly, the only way to access the beach, oh, and the campsite, would really be through that teleportation pipe. I haven't seen any entryways on the side of the island. <gasps> Wow, so that's it. That's literally it. That's how you get to the campsite. Also, how cute is this and this on this blanket? I love it. Also, if you just heard a funny noise, I did not pass gas. That was my dog growling. I think he heard something outside. <laughs> this is really beautiful. And again, what a creative use of the pipe to send you to this beach and to the campsite. Oh wait, is this a secret walkway? Am I mistaken? Okay, I don't think so. I don't think so. I thought I was onto something. Yeah, these flower codes in combination with the white items, with these white butterfly models and the white duck decoys, which look like swans to me. I feel like they remind me of swans. This is a really pleasing island already, and I'm obsessed with also the way that she's kind of hidden the pipes behind the palm trees, you know? It's kind of a nice way if you don't like the actual aesthetic and look of feel of the war pipes, but you still want to use them and incorporate them into your game just for, I mean, for the purpose of using them. How fun, oh, wait, did this just take me somewhere else? Oh my gosh. There's three pipes. I was not expecting that. I thought we were going back to the other area, but it took us to another secret beach. Stop it. Yeah, I'm obsessed with these hats on the blanket. That is next level Animal Crossing creativity. So cute. These are really well decorated beaches too, let me just say. Like even though they're clearly decorated, they still feel super natural and welcoming. I love the greenery. I have been convinced now to put this hedge fencing on my beach because it looks so good. It looks really nice paired with this lattice fencing too. Wow. That is so smart, especially, okay, so beaches are hard to decorate, but turning them all into secret beaches where they're inaccessible unless you use these pipes, that is absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's see where we go next. I have a feeling, well, who knows? Let's see if we're back. Oh, and it took us back to this one. Wait, how do I get back? Hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> Because we weren't, okay, now we're back. Now we're back to the first pipe. I was about to say, whoa, did I miss something there? Also, the use of the kids' tents right here is just precious. Man, I love this pattern. What a great blanket. 
Okay, that was such a fun way to start the tour. Let's keep exploring. Again, this area, that is really, really lovely with the duck decoys and the mum cushions. So sweet. I also love the gray pathing. I feel like I don't use the gray and white items more than I really should. I use them in Julian's build, but that's really it. Oh, and now we have this beautiful pop of red. This is such like a romantic area, right? We can come and like have a little date night. Really beautiful. Before we go up these stairs, I do want to go all the way around. Speaking of stairs, there's another little optical illusion of a staircase right here. Okay, this is just, look at that little four part waterfall. It's so simple. You have a circle and you make it into a four part waterfall. I mean, come on. Just such a nice way to not take up much space but still fill up your area with some waterscaping. Also, can I just say how happy I am we've gotten some more like food items in the game, even if it's like this little chocolate heart. I think it's really great. I love, okay, so there was an access point to the left beach back here. So I do wanna take advantage of that before we explore. Oh, this is the peninsula. <gasps> how brilliant to make it a little walkway. Oh, this is pretty. That is really nice. I'm always so excited to see how people decorate their peninsulas, whether there's a house on it, a campsite, something completely different, but that is really unique and beautiful. And then another lovely beach. I can't get over just how simple yet beautiful these beaches are. Oh my gosh, little socks. There's a little pair of socks. Oh. Yeah, I'm totally gonna do this hat idea. That It's just too perfect. That's so smart. And you could do it with any hat or any, <gasps> any piece of clothing like this. Oh, how cool. That is really sweet. This is so nice. I wonder if this is where the little Able sisters come and maybe get some sewing done on their off days, but they still wanna get some work finished. That's really beautiful. These dresses are stunning. I wonder who made those, they're really pretty. Oh, and of course the little dock. Oh, how sweet, it's just a little reading nook. Might I say, one of my favorite things on dock are these light posts. Did I turn it off? You can't even tell, it's daytime anyway. <laughs> okay, we have explored many a beach. Well, you know what? I don't think we saw this back area, did we? Past the peninsula. We're gonna keep, we're gonna see the entire beach of this island before we explore the rest. Look at this, oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen the white instruments in my shop before with the exception, I want to say of the harp but the white guitar is really pretty. Man, I am definitely taking pointers on beach decorating from Mare, cause this is so nice. <gasps> Look at this little town back here. Well, first let's appreciate this adorable restaurant at the base of this lighthouse. Oh my God, what, how cute too. Okay, just adding one simple panel right there in front of the lighthouse, just to give it a little bit of a different look and feel is really smart. And then back here, putting rocks on the rock. I mean, that's those, okay, rocks on the rock, big brain move. Big brain move. <laughs> this is so lovely. And it makes sense too, how the other beaches were more secret. They were a little bit more secluded. But then back here you have these beautiful buildings. This is lovely. Also, might I say, the design on these simple panels to create balconies and these Juliet style windows is really nice. So props to the creator, cause wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love a little beachside cafe on the rocks. That's so sweet. Okay, 
We have explored all beaches, except the, the actual secret beach where Red comes in, which I'm sure we will see eventually. So let's go ahead and go up this staircase. And I think this is a villager area, right? <gasps> Whoa. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I was very wrong. This is a stunning castle-like mansion. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. So these are clearly the two uh, resident houses, right? Can I get through this way? Oh, I guess I cannot. These are definitely the two resident houses, but them together, this is like, wow. Okay, I wanna try and get a better, a better view. Let's see. I am just floored. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. I promise it's gonna be worth it. Like what? How are people so creative and good? It's honestly frustrating knowing that people make this and then I'm like, mm, let me make my little plant shop. <laughs> you know, this is amazing. This is amazing, Mare. Also like uh, the hedge fencing is my favorite. And so I have to give a shout out because it's used so much in this bill or on this island. And I just love the greenery incorporated with this beautiful white as well. Like, holy smokes. Okay, so I know that the right house is furnished. So let's go here and we will look around. I'm blown away. This is so fun for me. Ooh. Okay, so it feels almost like a lobby. Okay. So this could very much be like an office building, a hotel, a waiting room, a lobby. That art too on the walls looks really, really good. This is some of my favorite wallpaper too. The hallway wallpaper, I think is what it's called. But they have it in different shades of brown and it looks really nice with these candles on the walls too. Okay, my curiosity is peaked. We're gonna go in this room first. Oh, and here is the kitchen. Okay, so we still have the theme of the hallway wallpaper. So everything is definitely color coordinated. This definitely feels like a working kitchen because of the dishes and then you have a water cooler as well. Oh, and a television. I always wanted to have a television in the kitchen. I guess that this, you know, this day and age, it's like, just take your laptop. You can make that a TV essentially. Wow, okay. This feels so nicely contrasting against the rest of the island because it's super brown, it's super like warm toned, where the rest of the island is, you know, white, more minimalistic, whites and greens everywhere. I really like that contrast. <gasps> well, I take it all back. This matches the island perfectly. <laughs> like this room is kind of how I expected the entire house to be. I mean, this gives off those white cozy vibes with all of the symmetry and oh my goodness, that painting looks immaculate over the fireplace. What a sweet little tea room. So many statues too, like the art and statues on this island really are unmatched. I feel like they're everywhere, which has been like, had to have been so much trading and searching and you know, hassling red for more statues, but they look amazing. That's one of those items I wish you could catalog and just repur uh, repurchase, but okay. This is my kind of bathroom. If you know me, if you've watched my channel for a little bit, you will know this is Katie vibes, like 100%. Again, kind of, well, I guess I'm not too surprised because of the wallpaper, since it is green and white, very much like the rest of the island, it totally matches. But the dark flooring with this wallpaper looks so grand and immaculate and beautiful. And, okay, candles on the floor in the bathroom, 10 out of 10. How many times have I said that? A billion? 
yeah, this is a really nice bathroom. And I like how the divider is just hiding the tub slightly. Looks so nice. And now let's go check out upstairs before we take a peek in the basement. <gasps> what a beautiful bedroom. This is also my kind of vibe bedroom. I love the dark antique furniture. Easily some of my favorite items and literally all of it is in this room. So <laughs> I, I definitely am biased, but look how the computer right here in the corner with the office chair just kind of sits and tucks perfectly right there. And then you have some jewelry over there on a table. You have your wardrobe. Also these antique side tables with the little doilies that come on them, I am obsessed with. I have too many of them because I want to put them all over my island and I have put maybe one on my island so far, but I really love that item. Oh my gosh, and the TV above the door, brilliant. This is an incredible bedroom mirror. You should be super proud. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna get inspiration from this house because the rooms are like super practical, they're super sweet, so creative, and so, just so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I love this room. And this is how a basement should be, ladies and gentlemen. Also, how fun, it almost looks like Red's basement, you know, like all of the art, all of the boxes. And then the candles being the only source of light too. It, it's spooky and magical all at once. But like, this is how I think of a basement, you know? There's like an older piano in the corner. It's probably an antique. Then you have all of these paintings. Yeah, this is a basement. So smart, honestly. Also, this rug is like one of my favorite rugs too. I really like how it breaks up the room. Oh my gosh, how fun. Okay, I am obsessed with this house. So many beautiful rooms. Ooh, that was my favorite. I don't know. I think the, I don't know. I can't even pick a favorite room. I was gonna say the bedroom and I was like, oh wait, no, but I'm obsessed with that bathroom. And then I was like, wait, no, this basement is like the best basement. <gasps> Look at sweet little Tia. Do you not just match this island perfectly, my love? How? Amazing. So I think, I don't think I can get, hi Raymond, I have to do this, but don't, don't, don't be upset. I love you. Oh my gosh, and Mabel, they're like three absolute cuties up here. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Bye Raymond. You also match this island very nicely. So I think to get up to the museum, we'll go up here. Oh my gosh, how perfect. It's like literally like castle this way. Oh, I love when the statues just kind of appear like that. And then we have another little neighborhood over here. So it looks like we get Raymond's house. Um, I don't know whose home this is. Who are you? <gasps> Wait, there's, there's, um, um, um. Okay, well, I, okay, well, this isn't working. I'm gonna go find. <laughs> Find her friend, I think her name is Mandy. Yes, 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 hello. I want to talk to you. Have you seen Mayor? I actually have not, but we're gonna try and find her. <laughs> and we are at the museum. What a nice, simple entrance. I never have thought to bunch up the bushes like this, but that looks really, really lovely. Oh my gosh, and the Lily of the Valleys. Five stars, of course. Yeah, I never thought to do that, but that looks really great. And before we explore Nook's Cranny, I do want to take a peek over here at Miss Judy's house. How cute. Can I get through this way? I don't think I can. <laughs> I do like how easy this island is to navigate though. I mean, it's so nice with the pathing. It's like super sweet. And again, with these little bunched bushes, I think that's a really creative way to kind of fill up some space. It looks really nice. And outside of Nook's Cranny, we have a nice little cart too to get a little snack. And then I actually want to go this way because I saw that festival confetti machine and I wanted to walk through it. 
<laughs> Look at how fun. Also, the trees block it perfectly, so it just gives a nice little whimsical, like, ooh, confetti. I wish you could catch the confetti. Oh my gosh, how cool. More confetti. This is uh, honestly just such an aesthetically pleasing island. Like, every single bit of it is just so pretty and it's all very unique like the uh, the beaches are so different you have these little neighborhood layouts but it's not like they're all in a row they're still very unique and spaced out differently oh i love i think this is maple's house yeah and then i'm i think this one's fauna's i like how they're neighbors they definitely strike me as being neighbors yeah how cute hello little duck Hi, little decoy duck. <laughs> I wonder if we will run into Mare. I hope we do. So nice. Again, these little simple panels with the roses. I love all of the roses and just nods to foliage on this island, whether it be the gardening flower cards or the actual roses in game or the roses that are a part of this pathing that's custom. It's really beautiful. <gasps> Wait a second. What an absolutely clever way to decorate your Able Sisters. She took those simple panels that I was just talking about and hid the windows and made it look just really rustic and nice. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's pretty wonderful. That's pretty wonderful. Oh, you know what I just realized? I can't believe I forgot that there was a present outside of resident services. I can't believe I'm just now remembering. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, rose crown. Okay, we're gonna wear it for the rest of the tour. How cute. Oopsie, that's my bad. Wow, so pretty. I, I love this idea of the simple panels, just hiding the windows and kind of making it a little bit larger. Really smart. Again, another big brain move. I love. So let us explore this way. I'm obsessed with the confetti too. I need to figure out ways to incorporate it onto Calico, but man, Mayor really knocked it out of the park. Look how fun. Just sitting right on top of some cliffs, just eating out some confetti. <laughs> Ooh. Um, well, if this isn't just the most adorable little cafe. That's stunning. Look at this park. I, I really just have no words. There's so many beautiful points on this island. Y'all have to come visit this dream address. I mean, this is so pretty. Oh, how cute this little art area. <gasps> um, and this waterscaping on the right. I mean, ow. Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, this is beautiful. Also, it makes me love this art area even more because it kind of gives you the idea that you're painting basically the view in which you're looking, right? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So let's go back this way because I know we have not seen back here. Again, I quit. Look at these sunken waterfalls. I mean, these are so pretty. Also, I don't know if I've seen sunken waterfalls this symmetrical before, but how they have like the two statues here and the waterfalls themselves are very symmetrical. Even the flowers, the custom pathing. I mean, this is really like, come on, Mary, you're outdoing yourself here. You really, really are. This is lovely. I'm gonna hide right here. <laughs> wow. 
that yeah i i really i have no words other than just applause really and then oh my gosh look how cute this little coffee shop is how nice and more confetti okay team confetti officially i'm really really loving the confetti then let's go up this way and the pretty lookout so this would be a great spot for shooting stars and for celeste i love that and then another nice little park over here you know what i love about this island it looks like these villagers and the residents have really put their heart and soul to it and like it's still very green and very lush but clearly like has those kind of urban vibes you know because it's very developed obviously there's buildings there's little secret oh and we're back at that little secret beach i mean we can't access it because of the warp pipes but how fun it takes you right there now let me see i'm actually i'm gonna take a peek at the map to see if red's beach oh so red's beach is behind the able sisters okay 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 Let me know what your favorite part of this island is so far because I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's so stunning in so many different and unique ways that I truly could not answer that question even if I tried. Oh, and now we're going back here. Okay, so I want to go back down to the bottom because I know that there's a lookout near the bottom left beach, I believe. So I do want to make my way back down there. But we also need to check out the um, bottom right side of the map, too. <laughs> Strolling around here is just such a treat, truly. Like, wow. Oh, 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 what? what? Oh, not the map. Get out of here, map. Y'all ever just give up? This, I mean, seriously, I know I keep saying how blown away I am, but every single area of this map is just so thought out and immaculate, and this had to have taken so much time. So forgive me if my um, reactions are crazy, but I'm just blown away by the talent that people have in this game, and Mare specifically, obviously, because this is her island. And then this takes you down to Resident Services, which is where I woke up, of course, for the dream address which is such a nice little resident services house just tucked away right here. I love that. So let's go to the right side and then we will check out that area I was talking about. Oh, actually, I guess we can't go that way, can we? Okay, so let's go to the bottom left beach. Again, so so beautiful. And more lilies of the valley. <gasps> Wait, is that Mare? Oh, <gasps> we found her. Wait, no. This is still Mandy. Oh, Mandy, you trickster. You absolute trickster. I thought we saw Mare. Okay. Well, we will just have to continue this way then. So the house is that way. If I go here, I, oh my gosh. Again, the festival items. Oh, we're back at the airport. Okay, yep. Even on easy to navigate islands, it would not be a tour of mine if I didn't get lost. <laughs> oh, how fun. I do love this whole park. It's honestly, worth seeing twice it really really is okay so this is the beach with the warp pipe so we saw here but I don't think we saw or maybe we didn't I just missed it which would not surprise me there's one thing I know about myself is that I uh, am directionally challenged I say it nearly every video Again, shout out to the new 
Well, I guess that's not super new. It came out in January, but the new-ish um, food items. I love it. I love that we have things that we can put on our tables besides just like mugs. <laughs> okay, bottom left beach. Let's see, let's see. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay, there's supposed to be, oh, there's the sign. Okay, okay, okay. I missed it earlier. Mayor told me that there was a little sign pointing to a ladder. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's super hidden. I don't feel as bad for missing it. But there's the sign. So if you come and visit the stream address and you find the sign, she says it'll take you to a, um, a little lookout, which I'm thinking is up here. <gasps> yeah, because there's no injury up this way as far as um, actual inclines go. <sighs> wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, I want to go and look at this back. Backside. This is, wow, whoa, whoa, wow, whoa. I understand now. This is lovely. I am just so in awe, truly. So correct me if I'm wrong. Have we seen the bottom right? Where the, okay, so if that's the campsite get there we are going to get to those houses if it's the last thing that I do but I'm pretty sure we've not made it to the villager houses on the right side of the map I know we got to the campsite through the warp pipes but I want to oops, <laughs> I want to get to those villager houses so let me know in the comments as I'm making my way over there First off, what is your island's theme? Are you even giving it a theme? Is it themeless? And how long have you been playing the game? Because I have a bit later of a start than most. I started playing New Horizons in um, June, is that right? Yeah, in June of this year. And the game I believe came out in March or April. So, I've not been playing for as long as a lot of people, but I also know a lot of people got the game for Christmas um, or the holidays or even, you know, their birthday that's a little bit later. So let me know. Okay, so I figured out how to get over here. I must have not have seen this pathing right here connected from this house over here. I just quite frankly did not see it. So that's on me, but this is so nice because now we get to explore this adorable park area, which the wedding arches look so nice behind these benches. I don't know if I've ever seen that done before, but it looks really lovely. And then we have another little area over here. Oh my gosh, again, those arches. This is really, really stunning. Whoa, and then the transition to this. Holy. Oh, nope, get out of here, map. Okay. Now that is impressive. Does anyone else feel like Mayor's Island is a thousand times bigger than theirs? <laughs> the use of space and absolutely stunning waterscaping and terraforming uh, essentially deserves an award. There should be Animal Crossing Island awards and this should be submitted and win. I, I truly cannot get over it. Also, I like how the use of red flowers is very intentional on certain parts of the island, whereas a lot of other parts are strictly white. Yeah, I mean, what what is there to say? There really are no words to describe how wonderful this is. Also, 
this custom code layered on top of the gray endgame path is really smart and a really, well, I'm, I think, I'm thinking it's layered. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just on its own, but it looks really nice. What a stunning walkway. <gasps> Wait, more sunken waterfalls. Okay, this island is like queen of sunken waterfalls. This had to have taken just hours and hours and hours and then some more hours. There's no way. There's no way that this was like, oh, let me just throw this island together. It's so thought out and purposeful. And I mean, look, that walkway, this bridge with just the surrounding waterscaping and terraforming is really something else. I can't get over it. And there's still, still more to see before we go up and check out those last few resident houses. Oh wait, there's some right here. Okay, so this is what I was trying to get to earlier. So we have Dobie's house and then, whose house is this? Samson's, the sweet little mouse. And then Judy's just hanging out. <laughs> And then back behind their homes, it looks like they also have a cool little park. Oh, I bet this looks awesome at night because of the lights on the festival items. And then a hidden wishing well. This is a great way to decorate these wells too, just surround them with these bushes. That looks really great. You know what I have not seen on this island? I and mean, they've gotta be somewhere. I would think that there's somewhere are the rocks. Can you, is it possible to like get rid of all the rocks? I mean, I know you can break them all, but to prevent them from spawning, you would have to have like every single square covered, which is definitely a possibility. Wow. What a nice little music park area. Yeah. blown away at this one if there's a lot of silence it's because I'm at a loss for words on how well done this is oh there she is we found her we have found Queen Mare hello have you seen Manny they're just they're just perpetually looking for one another that's actually really funny <laughs> and then we have a nice building right here as well this has been such a treat. Also, what a hilarious way to <laughs> to have your residents uh, talk to the dream address visitors is just continually asking where someone else is. I think that's really funny, especially if they happen to spawn in the same spot. That would be quite hilarious. So pretty. I would love to see this island at night with all of the lights and the street lamps, but it's a very romantic feeling. So pretty. Okay, so we have not gone up this incline. So let's see what's up here. Oh, it looks like just a nice another lookout area. Am I gonna be blown away again? Yes, always. The answer is always. What an absolute treat. Okay, I'm gonna go back over this way for the conclusion of this video, but I'm sure everyone is going to comment a million things because I don't even know how it's possible to decide a favorite part of this island because it's so, there's just so much brilliance, truly. But if you can, pick one part that is your favorite part of the island, please let me know in the comments below. I am uh, pretty in awe by everything, you know? 
but if I had to choose, I really liked the unique use of the warp pipes with the beaches, but um, I mean, the, the, come on, this, the symmetrical waterscaping on multiple different parts of the island, the tons of different sucked in waterfalls, it's all just so good. And with that, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in this world, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.